Pink delivers. Josh Riley pulls that one down the left field line. That's going to be Strike foul out. for an out. Strike out. Back in. Kyle Pearson going back through the middle with a nice single. It's almost a swirling wind, even though it's going from the right field corner to the left. Well, that's the thing I've always said. Once it gets past these bleachers, you really start to see a lot of movement. Greg Cannell with a piece out into left field, and he's setting that one on top of the grassy knoll left for a two-run home run. He Jones out into right. Yates right at there for a line out. Tell you what, a little bit different sound of the ball hitting the bat right now, no? Yeah. Compared to last night, like a little softer sound right now. Matusik, nice piece by Matusik. He's absolutely been on one today. And one's still at the wickets, but Yates gets it in quick. Jason was fighting a hand wrist injury. I asked him if he's doing good. He said that's all healed. Phil Matt. Wants that ball to feel the injury there mm -hmm. off the video board and left for Phil Matt with a two runner. Scores have been high all day, right? All day, yeah. you know, the wind's definitely helping. It looks like the wind's actually picked up um, more as the day's gone on, but it's still blowing out, which is uh, yeah. the way to go. And then Rufex came here and got smoked. Oh, and Pink shuts the kitchen down on Marshburn. What a nice grab by Pink, quick up on the back end to finish the inning. After the top half of the fourth, Rezzy puts up four. And welcome back here to UCCC Space Coast Stadium. I'm big boy Jay Rowe from Bring It Podcast. Alongside me is DW and Clark delivers. Austin Dahl with a nice piece. Bubba Mack up across the diamond for the out. Nice grab by Bubba Mack to get up and get Dahl going down to first. Not a bad way to start off defensively for Rezzy. No doubt, and Bubba Max glove is what puts them up another notch compared to the last year. Oh, Bama gives that one a right out into left, and that's not coming back. Bama with a solo shot in the bottom of one. Clark. Yates rolls that one over to Cannell at second. Pearson grabs it, and now we got two down. Barnes with a nice piece down the right field line. That is going to kick off. The wall down in right, and Barnes is going to pull on in with an easy triple. Barnes, one of the league leaders every year in doubles and triples. I was saying last game, I feel like he grocery shops quick with how fast he is. Tyler Story throws his hands at it, elevates that out into left, and that ball is going to be off the top of the video board for a two-run home run by Tyler Story. Peppering that scoreboard, putting some more dents in it. <laughs> it's getting its workout in for sure. Big. Are they? Yeah. J Mag looking to go backside. Oh. Kyle Pearson diving and Travis Clark over to cover. Pinkham delivers. Bubba Mac oh. going back through him. And Melton comes up. One down. <laughs> through him is the word. <laughs> I don't know if it went between his legs or off his toe or what. I think he, I think he got those Jordans, those Air Force Ones. He just got over it. Oop. Oh, just under that left foot. Travis Clark going back through the middle here and Bama oh. diving from his knees. Oh. Safe. Play up the middle. Kate, one of the best all around players in the game for sure. Clark thought he had a, had a hit. Here comes Pink delivers. Corey Briggs hits that ball out into left center. Giving that a ride. Steele Lewis tracking it back on the warning track for the grab. Buddy Wolf's a teacher, so he just came in for the second tournament. Okay. I think he just got here. There goes Bazad out into the right center gap. Buddy Wolf's going to come in to score, and Kevin Bazad, a little kick around, but Bazad's just going to pull up to two. This is my favorite vantage point to watch yeah, these so conference good. pitchers. It's good. Uh, Josh Riley hits that ball high and deep, and that is going to be into the trees over the grassy knoll and left for a two-run home run. It's a squirrel killer, that's what we call those. <laughs> It'll be nice to have in your bag. Kyle Pearson going straight away. Steel Lewis tracking him back, going back towards Eastside, looking up, and that is gone. Deep as part of the park, 385 out there. That is easy, 415. Uh, Four, yeah, 385 415? at the fence, so for sure 415. Let's see where it lands here. It looks like it lands right over that, uh, into those trees. 
Oh my, that's, I think it's more than 450. <laughs> <laughs> Let's call it 445. Yeah, I like that even no, better. But... Pink from the first base side delivers. Nice, gets Cannell chasing one on the outer half part of the plate, but Cannell drops that one in there off the top of the Louisville sign and right center. Delivers. Oh, nice swing by Bradley Jones heading out into right center. Oh. Steel Lewis crashes into the wall and Bradley Jones is gonna head on over to third. Playing him pretty hard pull through the infield. And there goes, oh, Ooh. off the top of Heath Barnes glove. And Matusik hard out of the box is gonna head on over to two. It's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. Corey Briggs hits that ball out into left. That's high. It's being pushed back towards the wall. Looking up, story is, and it's gone. And Tyler Marshburn draws a three-pitch walk. You One of the I mean? best of all time, some people are saying. Mike Masenko, if you're listening, he was called me earlier. There's Bubba Mack getting that ball out into the grassy knoll and left in the speed slot between the foul pole and the scoreboard. They're not going to grass off the grassy knoll. I mean, it's it's it, going to be dirt. Those poor soon. guys that sit under that Dudley tent during the World Series are going to have no traction. It's going to be a mud hill. Yeah, Mike Masenko is one of the most prolific home run hitter of all time. What? He called a day to talk about this tournament. And Clark's living in the middle. That, that one elevated out in the center. And he, he was basically looking at the Rosmondo lineup saying it's one of the best lineups of all time. And he was talking about all the old teams. He's seen them all. Yeah. He played against them all. ConferenceUSSA.com. You have unbelievable information. I was saying we were talking about it earlier as Corey Briggs. It's that one down the left field line. That's going to be Yank foul for the final out of the inning. Wick trying to pull that one base at one down. I swung at a bad pitch there inside. It's wild. Right, because you don't know exactly where it is. Nope. Steel Lewis over to Marshburn. Two down. Nice pick. Uh, here comes Kyle Pearson. That might be the first one he's missed on that swing out into left at the warning track. Get on base here and let. Josh Riley do his thing. Kevin Bezat hits that one out into right center, and Jeremy Yates pulls that one in for the first out. We do hear you, and there is a constant work here as Josh Riley looks at the pitch from Pinkham back through the middle by Riley. Nice little swing. Kyle Pearson. Kyle Pearson with a seed out into left. Josh Riley moves on over to two, and that's where I was going with the conference, USSA.com. Jump it on there, you know, when broadcast in the uh, Sin City Major. I had it up at all the dimensions for all the different fields. Here is a little easier where we're 325 down the line, 365 in the gaps, 385 the center. But when you're playing at complexes with different fields, you have all the dimensions. You've got the weather up there. You might have people's horoscopes even. Like you've got anything you need for the tournament, you've got it covered on that. And, and for previous. players, the, the address of the park is on there. That's That one always comes up. What's the address? That's always in the preview. Greg Cannell hits that ball high out into left, and that one's getting sent out. There's your squirrel killer. Pink delivers it, and there's a walk with one out. Matusik with a nice piece through the 5-6 hole. Barnes gives it a dive. Yeah, almost like the Smoky last summer, where they were getting three and four innings a game. Still putting up 40. Yeah. There goes Phil Matt out into the left field corner. Nice swing by Phil. Here comes Bradley Jones. Matusik's going to drop anchor at three. Well, and then when we were here for the major challenge cup, it was beautiful, too. Perfect. I mean, here's the other thing you, you look at. It's like, well, you got to try to nibble. Just missed it off the back of the plate. I mean, you've got Bama way over. And almost a shortstop hole. And there's Travis Clark. Elevates that ball out into left. Story going back at the wall. And he palms it. <laughs> nice grab by Tyler Story. But he grabs the out. That's a big out. See, there he is. Story, he had one more step back. Jump for it. Did get that inning off. Do you think it actually hurt him? Excuse me, 19 to 3. Somebody's not right. 23 or... Either which way, we are out of the top of the third. Mellon hits that ball out into left. Matusik looks at that ball go up and over. And Pink trying to go backside. Greg Cannell grabs on the back end and over to Pearson. Hour, hour and a half. Nice piece by Austin Daw down the left field line. He's on his horse, kicks around from Matusik, and Daw's going to be in there with an easy double. 
I don't think they're coming out of the cooler, but they definitely could help. Bama with a big shot down out into left. That is clearing the scoreboard over the grassy knoll for a two-run shot. Yatesy giving that one a ride out into right center over towards the nest of the Ospreys for a solo home run out in the right. You're starting to feel a little bit of juice offensively. This game would be at the border battle too. Uh, rosters were, those rosters were just announced. Here comes Tyler Story. Tyler Story with a nice piece. Got him. Got Greg Cannell trying to one hop there. Nice swing by Tyler Story and Heath Barnes in a light jog comes across home. Crushed it. J Mag hits that ball out in the left Knock knuckling. See what I mean? You get up here, DW, and you saw that thing moving. Looked like Tim Wakefield. Yeah, I didn't think he was necessarily going to push that, uh, pull that in. Matusa coming in, coming out, sidestepping, looking like he was boot scoop boogieing. The big difference here is the second inning, right? Where Rezzy put up 10, Sonny's put up zero. But mm -hmm. right now, Sonny's is matching Rezzy. They've got five, only one behind this inning. I got the hammer. Mm -hmm. Steel Lewis. Swings of that one. Corey Briggs coming in. He's going to bring it with him. Yeah, that home run derby is unbelievable. Yeah, conference all stars went there in 2014 or 16. I can't remember. And I was up there. Josh Riley leading off here in the top of the fourth. Hits that one on out into left center for a solo shot here to lead off the top of the fourth. It's an event. It definitely is an yeah, event. Yeah, it's a up community there. event almost. Mm hmm. The thing I like up there, too, is uh, the women's game gets played on a smaller field, so you have... Greg Cannell hits that one high and deep out into left over the Remax side for a two-run home run. Bradley Batman Jones elevates that out into left center. That thing is tailing. Steele Lewis going a long way, makes the grab. Jason Matusik up high out into left, a towering fly ball. Pink working from the first base side. Oh, nice little swing by Phil Matt going 5-6 and just underneath Heath Barnes' glove. And Phil Matt's going to try to stretch this into two. And he is gassed. Nice job by Barnes to get up and go get her. A great tag. You just had her going. Two walks. He gets a swing of bat. Kyle Pearson off the top of his glove. Heath Barnes comes up. Doesn't get him. 1-0. Pink delivers. Bubba Mack hits that ball out into left. Tyler Story coming in. He is going to catch that on the line and bring it with him. Kyle Pearson. Kyle Pearson throwing that one high out into left to where he loves to live. John Williams puts his foot right <laughs> next to the white. <laughs> and he still goes still over goes his head. By him. He still goes over his head. Tommy Melton back to the wall. Jason Matusa gives it a run, but Tommy Melton with a home run. It was nine, nine and a half feet. So Josh we, Fife with a nice piece out in the left. Well, that's because you, you so that we can these. have those. Yeah, kind of yeah. You're correct. Josh Fife came in, hit for Pinkham, and now McDowell's running for Fife as he did hit. Yeah. For so even in the conference, if you're if it's the pitcher spot that gets the automatic runner. Nice piece by Dahl on a line out to left, and Matusik almost made a nice catch there, but McDowell's going to come in to score for Fife, who hit for Pink. And that's why I was, I wanted to catch up a story after this game and see, because, you know, the, the sun earlier was right over, and now it's yeah. behind. Well, now he's blocking oh, yeah. see with this glove. Yeah, definitely fighting it. One of the hardest fields to play outfield on in the conference. It, it is the hardest. This one Especially right here. Especially at night. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy Yates yanks that one down the right field line. That is fair into the corner. And Yates the end with a double. Eve Barnes. Eve Barnes hits that one out into the left. Matusik coming in. That ball's in there quick. Marshburn's going to throw it home. We're going to have play. And Yates beats it by a step. Sonny's showing some life here. I just want to give a shout out to some of the other sponsors on Sonny's. It's uh, Worsham, Red Athlete, Haymac, uh, uh, Sonny Pilcher, primary sponsor, is the third base coach over there. Tyler Story misses that one. That ball is hit high. Matusa coming in, fighting the sun. He, he's uh, got it. I dropped. They're calling that a drop, not a transfer. I think it's a drop. There's a the replay. I think it was more. 
correct? Yeah, I think it's uh, a transfer. It's a transfer. Yeah. yeah, you're right. Get out of here. Uh, someone correct me if I'm wrong on who the player was. Nice piece by Jason Magnum in the center. Heath Barnes going to come around to score. One zero from Clark Wick, patient. Nice piece and Canal deep out into shallow right. He's probably a good. Steel Lewis out there, unleashes that one high on top of the S on the U Triple A Space Coast Stadium side. Any prizes nah. here? You know, it's kind of like you we're a big J Row blow up doll out there. <laughs> if you hit it, J Row gives you a bring it podcast hat. <laughs> OGKP got that one out into Lepidusic at the wall and just checks it. Back in the day. Tommy Melton. Tommy Melton going out. Matusik back at the wall and grabs it for the final out. Travis Clark going back through the middle. Bama comes up. One hopper over to Dahl. One down. Delivers. Briggs rolls that one to Heath Barnes. Comes up. Two quick outs now for... Resmondo, so. Oh, Resmondo's bats on the bench. Oh, nice little piece. There's that beautiful cheating lefty swing that I'm always jealous of. And Bayzad in there with a nice little double. Off the bench, depending on the situation. Here comes Josh Riley. Josh Riley, you don't have to worry about a bat off the bench with that one. Doesn't mind the wind at all. Next to the scoreboard for a two runner. Aiding their, their hits. That's a chopper from Kyle Pearson. Bama couldn't come up with it clean. You got Greg Cannell at the plate. Nice piece by Cannell down into left. And Pearson's going to head over to three. And Cannell's got a hustle. Ooh. Runners in second and third here with two down. Top five. Bradley Jones to Heath Barnes. And that is going to be the final out of the inning. It all starts here with Bill Pinkham flying out to left, one down. Yeah, we went over the sunny sponsors earlier, Rismondos. Travis Rosmondo is here in Florida. Um, he's got a huge trophy case in his office. Like the whole wall is the World Series trophies. Like it's phenomenal. And then All American restorations, Jimmy Thurman, RDD, Scotty Sunderland's down here. Uh, Ed Minosi, long time, long time partner with Dan Smith as a sponsor. Came over to Rosmondo a few years ago. Uh, if he's watching at home. Uh, shout out to Eddie. Got a chance to chat with Jimmy Thurman and mm -hmm. waved down to Scotty Delorge with RDD, but was talking to Stump. Uh, Sunderland there earlier yesterday waiting for LOB to come by as Austin Daw hits that ball in between the wall and the scoreboard for a nice little solo here in the bottom of the fifth. And played DH a lot. Here goes Bama, Daniel Caton hitting that one out into right center. It's carrying. And Corey Briggs goes with the basket catch after the wind kind of knocked that one down. Briggs doing his best Zirkel impression out there. <laughs> well, Hickey's turning into a hockey player now. Oh, uh, yeah, I saw that. Big Yates heading that ball on out into right. Is it going to reach the yard house? It sure is. Unbelievable job. Done a great job, especially when it's game after game after game. Uh, oh, just oh. under Bradley Jones goes Heath Barnes. Heath Barnes is going to run. We're going to see Heath Barnes come across the score. Yeah. He said he leads the league usually in doubles, triples. It's probably inside the park homers, too. I'm just feeling right. Sounds right. Here comes Tyler Story. Tyler Story. Oh, hits that one out into left center, giving that one a big old ride over the Remax sign. Wow. Yeah, two summers ago. Nice piece by Jason Magnum. J Mag going out to the Eastern, Eastern sign for a nice little ground rule double. Wick. Wick going out into left. A big tail on it. Matusik looks at that off the Space Coast Complex. Banner in left center. And Magnum. Oh, he's oh, out. He's out. He is gassed. He thought it was a home run. He either, no, he either thought it was caught or he thought it was a ground rule double or something. I am not sure. But he stopped halfway as we're going to uh, take a look at the replay. See if it shows up. No, I can't see Magnum. Off the wall, that comes in. Mag right now is halfway down the line. I like plays at the plate, but that wasn't. We'll be wow. back in the sixth inning. We're back here at the action. Jason Matusik, first pitch swinging. It's that ball high out into left. 
So Matt pulls that one down the left field line. That is going to be foul for an out. Facebook audience, too. Hopefully somebody heard the uh, magic word. Trying to go 5-6, and he finds it. Travis Clark with a nice piece out into left, and Marshburn's going to score from two. Pinkham delivers. Buddy Wolf gets by Tommy Melton. Nice piece by Buddy Wolf. That ball's going all the way over to three. Ted Arden getting the Barry Bonds treatment. Yeah. Everett swinging a tantrum. Hits that ball out into left. Going a little oppo taco by Everett Williams for a three-run shot over the grassy knoll. And opened up and went with her. Aiming for the scoreboard, probably. Pinkham delivers the last pitch, and that's going to be on the plate, and Riley takes a walk. DW, I know I've said it a couple times. This ball club's, these live stats on ball clubs is awesome. Yeah. Kyle Pearson elevates that one, and that is going to be long gone into the day. Over the trees and left. It's easy, though. It's easy to look back and say what else. Hindsight, if. yeah. Yep. Little nice piece by Greg Cannell out into the left field, left center gap, up against the Marucci side. And nice little inside out down into right field by Bradley Jones. He's turning. He puts the brakes on quick. He sees that throw coming in. Here comes Jason Matusik. Matusik, five for five on the day. Make that six for six on the day for Jason Matusik with a big shot out into left. They're playing Resmondo to start the second duel. And there is Phil Mack going out into right field. He's heading on into two. Jeremy Yates gets that ball in quick into Bama. Yeah. Oh, nice piece by Pinkham. Grabs that one from Tyler Marshburn for two down. So returning teams get to use their points from last year. So it's seated by class, major teams first, double A, A, B, and then points from last year within class. So if you're a brand new team like Eli Real, uh, you have no points from last year and you're B. So you're playing that play in game to get to the major team. Um, and Las Vegas is seated off that way. Hall of Fame dual one seated that way, dual two seated, but then they swap each of the seeding areas so they don't play the same team twice okay. in two, two tournaments in a row. Buddy Mac tries to go 5-6, and that's going to be a final out of the inning. And that makes sense. You know, that's a good way to use it, especially early on in the year. So I'm going to have to slide out. I want to thank J. Rowe for coming down and, and bringing his, his J. Rowe, <laughs> bring it energy to the broadcast. I want to thank Bernie and Adam and the big camera crew. Uh, for their tireless work. Michael on the ball clubs, trying to make improvements every day, and uh, all the scorekeepers that are yeah. doing the ball clubs. You know, they're probably not gonna hear this, but we appreciate the learning the app so that we can have these live stats. We can have box scores in the reports on the condensed game. Uh, just improves the whole product. Nice piece by Steele out into left center. Jason Matusik with a good running grab. ConferenceUSA.com. All things conference related, head there and check it out. He does a great job. Of course, you probably watch the uh, condensed games on YouTube that he puts out. Travis Clark off on the side. Kyle Pearson. Kyle Pearson! It's that ball high and deep into where he loves to live. Tommy with a nice swing out into left. Jason Matusik going back to the wall. Has a step remaining and pulls that in for the second out. First base side of the rubber, delivers. Pinkham hits that out into right center. Corey Briggs coming in, grabs it. Final out of the inning. Travis Clark leave, living in the middle when he's getting his hits. Full extension. Corey Briggs rolls that one over to Kyle Pearson. Oh, and the throw goes up the line and Bama couldn't grab it. Kevin Bazak going through the middle. Buddy Wolf is going to come around and head home. Pink's going to cut it off. Josh Riley with runners on first and second. Looks at his first pitch, trying to go 5 6. Heath Barnes with a nice play. There's one. And there's Kyle Pearson who steps in, and Kyle Pearson hits a deep ball. 
That is going to be off the stadium portion of the UAAA Space Coast Stadium sign. Now in left. Canal hits that one out into center. Steel Lewis underneath it. Nice piece by Bradley Jones out into right center. Jones going around. Yates gets it in quick, but Jonesy in there with a nice little double. Jumping a little bubblicious. Matusik elevates that story, fighting the sun a little bit. Guy grabs it for the final out of the inning. Way out on the third base side. Austin Daw back through the middle for a leadoff single. Is that goose egg really hurt him? Bama going back through the middle. Here we go. Clark toes the rubber from the third base side, lays it in there. There goes Jeremy Yates back through the middle. Nice piece by Barnes going through the 5-6 hole. Jeremy Yates heads on over to three, and Heath Barnes in for a double. Go to conference2ssa.com. There's a link there. Ooh, just missed. Clark's looking for that one. 25. J-Mag going backside, going into that right center gap. That's going to score one. That's going to score two. It's going to be a bases clearing double for Jason Magnum. Here comes Mark Wick. Wick going straight to center. Corey Briggs underneath it. J Mag's going to tag up and head on over the three. Steele Lewis. Clark off on the third base side. Steele pulls that one over to Marshburn. Comes up firing and Pearson. Got him out. Look at the replay here. Oh, yeah, Pearson held his foot on. Kyle Pearson elevates that out into left field. That ball is going to be off the video board and left from Kyle Pearson. Tommy Mountain looks at a ball. Tommy Mountain goes over to Bubba Mack. That's going to be the final out of the inning, and that's the ball game.